Hi, I'm Istvan Urban. I'm working in Budapest in our Regeneration Institute. First, I was very careful with region fast and I did some small cases and I did uh, simultaneous GBR. And I immediately recognized that it was easier to, to, to stabilize the bone graft before I placed the membrane. So um, since then, I did uh, you know, plenty of cases. And um, surprisingly, I go back after even big vertical ridge augmentations, I remove a membrane and uh, the bone quality is just better. So but my very first case was the first one, which was actually I've never seen that I have to, at six months, I have to use a chisel to find the implant because the bone was all corticalized. Normally, it's more like some graft particles. It's e easy to remove. You just scrape it off and then you find the implant. Uh, then I had a series of posterior maxillary, anterior maxillary, and pos posterior mandibular bone grafts, staged large vertical augmentations between five to even 10 millimeters. And I started to see that it, the bone graft is already corticalized in times when normally you just see the biomaterial. Yeah, so region fast is, is coming as a gel. If I compare it to, for example, Emdogain, I can tell you that, that, that region fast can be utilized very efficiently in conjunction with the bone graft, but also in conjunction with the soft tissue graft, which normally I, I, I used to use the, the Emdogain for. And uh, for small periodontal regeneration, like small bo uh, bony peak regenerations, uh, I was very effective and I am very effective with the BDG PDGF. Uh, I used to also use, utilize the, uh, the Emdogain successfully for that. And currently we started to, to test and, and successfully use the, uh, the region fast for this. So I think with the region fast, again, bone, soft tissue, and even some periodontal, you know, and I'm talking about not an infra bony, but an extra bony uh, component regeneration. Uh, if I compare this to uh, solutions like other growth factors, such as the PDGF, PDGF is in a liquid. I think it's very effective for periodontal regeneration. It's also good for, for um, bone formation, bone regeneration, but it, you know, licensure, for example, in Europe is, is not accessible. And um, you know, slightly, that's a growth factor, uh, and, and that's slightly different than the region fast. BMP2 would be very effective, but you know, many times it's overdose, very expensive. Um, it's not available everywhere very easily. And so um, I think uh, region fast is a good, um, you know, um, uh, material that you can access and it's not overly expensive like uh, would be BMP2. When I start to use a new material, I'm always very, very careful. And, you know, even there is research on it, animal research, you know, some human studies, I'm still very careful. Because the first thing I want to know, if it's not going to be worse before I'm going to apply it to, to multiple cases. So I usually start to do just a couple of cases to see like smaller defects when I cannot really have a disaster. And, um, and I recognized that I've never had any problems, you know, in terms of uh, any negative effects. Because, you know, put it in like it's a little bit of a jail. Is, is the blood clot going to be, uh, you know, as effective? So I had questions like this and lucky enough, uh, I can tell now because I've done done a lot of cases that I have never seen any negative effects. The good thing with the region fast is that you can, you can incorporate it into bone and soft tissue regeneration, similar to PDGF also. Uh, but that's again, the two, two materials are very, very different. And um, I think if somebody starts, I would just start with, you know, like you would have to, you know, have a little bit of an idea how much region fats you want to put into a, a, a bone graft and in terms of volume wise. But I would start using it uh, first maybe for, for, for simultaneous GBRs and then I would also do it with, in conjunction with con connective tissue grafts but also with flap closures. Just flap closures and you will see how much improvement you will get in one week of healing.
region fast you know affected as i mentioned before you know the maturation of the bone and and also soft tissue healing um, that probably has an effect on timing but i haven't really reduced my timings yet however uh, we you know, recently, uh, when we started to utilize, for example, the perforated PTFE membranes, timings came down from vertical augmentation of nine months to around six, between six to seven. And I think this also is probably reducing, and I'm just estimating here, this should be investigated in studies, but I would say you can improve two months with this. You know, originally when I started to use it, I got very strict, uh, you know, protocols in terms of the volume, how much region fat I, I should put in. And I think, you know, if you really follow that, it's a little bit difficult <laughs> to, uh, you know, to wet the bone graft. So it, sometimes it stays a little bit too dry. So I think you have to add a little bit more. And, you know, more you do, the, 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 the more you understand how much you really have to get. At first, we, was, we were really like, you know, very careful to make sure that it's not gonna, you know, affect negatively anything. And now we know it, it will not. So um, I think, you know, right recently, you know, I'm using a little bit more than before. I think handling is very easy. Uh, packaging is beautiful. Um, I think you need, I, I put in a needle, I, I open a separate needle because I, you know, when you remove it from a syringe, it's like the whole thing would come out. So I put in, a, I put a, a small needle on it and then I can, you know, really distribute the way I want. So that maybe could have been added. Um, in terms of the handling, you know, it's super easy, you know, once the jail is out there. So you should first have an estimate, okay, this is how much bone I want to use. And uh, for that, what is the package that I have to open? And then how do I distribute this uh, into the, uh, the bone graft? So maybe you opened a little bit too big and you don't want to necessarily use the whole thing. And so you have different packages and I think you have to have a little bit of an experience to, uh, to, to choose.